The 1985 film, The Goonies became an instant cult classic adventure, capturing the hearts of kids and adults alike. During the peak of the movie's popularity, game developers sought to translate the fun, humor, and sense of discovery of the Goonies gang into interactive video game experiences. Eager to capitalize on the runaway success of the movie, Japanese developer Konami created a Goonies game for the Red Hot Nintendo Entertainment System. Released in 1986, The Goonies on NES followed the movie's plot closely with Mikey, Chunk, and the rest of the gang searching for one-eyed Willie's treasure. The platformer design focused on navigating booby-trapped environments inspired by the film's iconic set pieces. Examples included the infernal piano that required rhythmic jumps and the basement filled with pipes that players had to intuit the correct path through. These sequences channeled the thrill and unpredictability of key movie scenes into challenging 8-bit gameplay. While paying homage to the film, Konami added diversions like an inventive mermaid stage and new enemies and hazards. The game steered closely to movie canon while exercising creative license for engaging gameplay scenarios. Vibrant sprite work brought the Goonies and environments to charming life in spite of the NES limitations. Iconic music from the film, like the Fratelli's theme song, added authentic ambience. Though unforgivingly tough like many NES games, the Goonies generated strong sales capitalizing on affection for the movie. For all its seeming obscurity today, it marked an important early licensed movie conversion and introduced classic Goonies adventures to NES players. In 1986, Konami released two more The Goonies video games, The Goonies for the MSX and The Goonies 2 for the family computer, Famicom. The MSX version is a platformer similar to the 1985 game, but it features different levels and enemies. The Famicom version is a more action-oriented game with a larger world to explore. Both games were released in North America by Nintendo in 1988. Konami followed up in 1988 with a sequel crafted specifically for the home console market. The Goonies 2 took inspiration from the film while forging its own quest as Mikey and the gang rescue a mermaid princess. This allowed Konami's designers imaginations to run wild across a sprawling adventure spanning beaches, glaciers, forests, and deserts. Unique items and vehicles expanded the gameplay possibilities. Players could ride a turtle submarine, use bombs to access new areas, and deploy tools like a pogo stick for navigating environments. While non-linearity was primitive, the scope hinted at adventures to come like Super Mario Bros. 3. Enemy designs like stilt-walking octopi and arachnid tanks showcased Konami's signature surreal style. Though overlooked as a licensed sequel, the Goonies Ia demonstrated ambition on the NES predating similarly expansive adventures. It channeled the sense of childhood curiosity and whimsy that permeated the films into groundbreaking gameplay from 1988 that respected fans while exercising creative liberties. Both Goonies titles captured the retro charm of the series that resonates with kids of all ages. Though never considered high art, the Goonies game's enduring reputation exemplify successful licensed movie adaptations done right. They each respectfully recreated the spirit and charm of the movie in 8-bit form rather than sloppily cash-in. The high difficulty captured how the Goonie kids themselves faced apparently insurmountable challenges with perseverance. For Goonies devotees, these NES quests remain a cherished way to further immerse themselves in the film's world. The Goonies games are prime examples of savvy developers, capitalizing on popular entertainment properties to forge nostalgic interactive experiences with care and passion. Like the movie, they speak to the childlike sense of adventure within us all.